Now that we saw an overview of manufacturing, let's spend some time to understand the data flow within manufacturing because this will help us understand the different processes and modules that are involved in manufacturing. Talking about modules, what you see on the screen is the flow of data between different modules in an ERP system. Now let's take Let's assume that Oracle eBusiness Suite is my ERP system. If that is the case, then the different blue boxes, what you see on the screen, are the different modules in my Oracle eBusiness Suite. Each module has got a specific role. That is, it captures a specific set of information. And the direction of arrowhead points to the flow of data from one module to the other. Uh, BIP, or the work in process, is the core manufacturing module that we are targeting here. And all the modules around that indicate the data flow from or to uh, with. So the first module, uh, we'll start from the top. BOM is the bill of material. Bill of material is a module where you can break down a component into its different child components or subcomponents. Going back to my example, if I talk about desktop as a final component, a desktop can have monitor, keyboard, mouse, cables, et cetera, right? So all of these are subcomponents. So BOM tells VIP that, okay, to manufacture a desktop, here are the different subcomponents you have to either manufacture or buy, and that information flows from BOM to VIP. Moving to the right, purchasing is a module which captures all the procurement that happens in the company. In my previous example, I said I have to buy 80 monitors from a particular vendor. So that information, the procurement or purchasing information of my 80 monitors will be pushed from purchasing to VIP. Quality module is a module which checks the quality of the goods that I'm manufacturing. Is it meeting the pre-required standards? Or if, let's say, there are a lot of defects that are coming up, then it would send its feedback uh, back to VIP, and then VIP would, VIP would uh, correct the process and then send the feedback back to quality. Inventory is a module which is the central uh, repository for all the item-related information, continuously interacts with the company. ASCP is the advanced supply chain planning, a very important module because this module tells what is the demand for a product. It generates the MRP, which tells what is the requirement or what is the production schedule that needs to happen for the company to manufacture a particular item. So this information is really important uh, when AACP sends, the, sends it to VIP because that is how VIP would know how many items to manufacture or what should be the frequency of production. Costing another important module because it tells you what are the different costs that are tied to the manufacturing process. That is, let's say to manufacture one desktop, my company is spending about $200. Now, can I break down this $200 by how much did I spend on material, how much did I spend on resource, what was the cost on overhead? This level of breakdown will really help me to understand what are the costing specific expenditures or uh, expenditure breakdown by cost elements in my company. Shop floor. Shop floor is a module where the actual um, operations in a manufacturing process would occur. Typical operations could be the actual assembly that happens, or let's say if we are talking about a desktop, then there could be various uh, operations in the shop floor, like assembly or testing or um, let's say packing. So these are different operations that happen, and because of that, shop floor and VIP are very closely integrated. Finally, GL or the general ledger. This is the um, finance module which interacts with VIP because all the VIP account balances need to be transferred to GM, and this is how Ledger would talk to the sub-Ledger. 